Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Collection Neo. Yes, it's me, Alex, I'm back with another review. Now, if you didn't watch my last video, which was a Hey Let's Talk About, I did a bit of a look over some Papo dinosaur figures, and basically talked about my collection redirection. Um, so if you didn't watch that, if you don't know, all my comic book stuff is pretty much gone, my Marvel, my DC, my XM Darkness, and I was trying to um, get the collection going a certain direction, which was um, focusing more on my fighting game stuff, um, video games in general, mostly for first figures, um, anime, which is obviously a big thing at the moment because of Prime 1, doing such amazing stuff um, and that was it really oh and Court of the Dead of course my court isn't going anywhere um, and I just had an itch that needed to be scratched with a big dinosaur foot <laughs> that makes no sense um, yeah so dinosaurs and dinosaurs as I said in the other video um, it's it's always been there Dinosaurs has with me, and um, statues have always looked great, and it felt like the right time. Um, Dam Toys are doing a rather fantastic looking museum dinosaur line, so um, I ended up cancelling quite a few pop culture shop pieces because three and a half years is a long time to wait for a statue, um, and the whole sideshow credit thing happened. So I just took a load of Sideshow credit, I paid a bunch of stuff off with it and ordered every damn toys dino I could get my hands on really. Um, so I think damn toys have got seven, six busts or five busts, two statues up for order. So I've ordered all of it um, and I've gone full on in on dinos and I also ordered a Prime 1 Jurassic Park Triceratops. So that's coming, because that looks fucking great. And then I thought, if I'm doing dinosaurs, I've got to go in on the Sideshow Dinosauria line. And this is the, not the last dinosaur release, but the one, the penultimate one, before the last one. The last one was Gastonia. This is the Tyrant King, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, and this is the exclusive, which we'll go into in a bit. So yeah, um, I figure, you know, this is my proper first dino statue. Um, I figure you might as well start with a T-Rex. Um, and like I say, I've looked stuff up online on this and the colours on it look all over the place. I've seen ones where it looks grey and I've seen ones where it looks brown. and the Very varying colours, but what you can see on camera right now is pretty much what you're going to get. Um, he is brown. Basically, um, now the one thing about collecting dinosaurs is that most units that you buy are built for height. So you know you buy a Bastia unit, you can adjust the shelves, and you can get you know a, a three tier Bastia unit is seventy two inches tall. So you can get most stuff in there, but this guy's only fourteen inches tall, but he is um, thirty inches long thanks to tails. Um, and he's definitely not the longest, and the spine is longest, and um, the Spinosaurus. Um, and the Apatosaurus that Sideshow did is about 40 inches long, which looks incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm full in on dinosaurs. I managed to pick this up for about 350 quid delivered, which was um, a bit of a bargain. Um, like I say, I think the exclusive piece, which we'll get onto, is pretty much one of those exclusive or fails. It's a fantastic piece on its own, but the... Exclusive just pushes it over the edge. Um, Sideshow did actually do a Tyrannosaurus Rex maquette before this. They did a weird thing with the dinosaur line where they released them all as maquettes, um, which were very nice. And then um, they decided to re release them later down the line. I really wish when they did those re releases, they were on collectibles direct for about 200, 250 quid a pop, even like the big ones like Spino um, and the smaller ones like Styracosaurus and. Um, and that were all pretty cheap. And even the later ones like Gastonia and Triceratops, again, were pretty cheap. 
and I just never jumped into it. I just thought, you know, that's something I'm not going to collect at this point and probably never will because it's dinosaurs. Why would I do that? But, you know, tastes change, people change, and I'm kind of getting back into what I used to love more. So, like I say, focusing on the fighting games and focusing on the anime and stuff that I love more so than the Marvel. Don't get me wrong, I still love Marvel, but it's, it's a bit... It's a bit I don't know, there's a certain point in the comics where it just all fell away from me. So yeah, Sideshow decided to re-release all these guys, apart from the T-Rex. The T-Rex maquette they didn't re-release. They obviously did this new sculpt, and the, the previous T-Rex maquette is very different. This is very Jurassic Park looking, this or this. I mean, they have gone up, this is like, definitely left accuracy, and gone for something that looks a bit more, you know, what people would buy. And that's no bad thing. I've got no problem with it. Whereas most um, lines have got a very strict one character rule. Um, unless, you know, it's a real, it's the same guy but in a different costume who makes him a different character, that sort of thing. You know, there is ways of bending the rules. I have got no problem owning two or three T-Rexes. <laughs> I really haven't, especially, you know, when most of them look so different. So, going back. Um, this is going to be a real rambling video, guy, but guys, but um, you should be used to that by now. Um, so when they re-released the maquettes as statues, they actually repainted them, and then all the releases have this like um, black, earthy, larvery, I don't know, sedimenty, crusty bit on the base. Um, so all the original statues, like I say, this isn't a, a remake or a repaint. This is an original one, but the newer ones they put these bases on. So like the Styracosaurus, for instance, they did the original one in a brown and it's got just like the the environmental base and that was it and then they re-released it later on in a green and then it was the same base but they added like a riser to just give it a bit more height and obviously to distinguish it more from the originals and um, so the, all the newer ones have got this on the base and I've lost my train of thought but I guess, like I say, this isn't a a, re, a, re, a remake or a repaint or anything else. Um, this is a brand new sculpt. And like I say, they have definitely gone Jurassic Park on it. The whole shape of the head, the colour especially, is very Jurassic Park. I heard, a, from what I've read on the forums, everyone was really disappointed with the paints on this. Um, which honestly, I think are okay. Are they the best paints? Could they be better? Sure. The actual paints across the T-Rex itself are actually pretty good. The nice subtlety to the and um, nice blending going through the different colours. Darker on top and you can see like, the subtle stripes coming down the legs, the white of the belly, the dark feet and even the head. It's picked out really nicely. Let's just see if I can move him up a little bit. Let's just drop that camera back a minute. And we'll... And we'll do that. Eyes are picked out pretty well. Paint's a little flat here in there, but it's definitely not the worst. And to be honest, this guy rocks on display. I've got him uplit in one of my um, bigger cabinets. And uplit, it looks fantastic. But there's no sloppiness. You know, there's good shading, there's good blending all around here. And the mouse really well picked out. The teeth are really well done. So you can get a little lower uh, and get in those teeth. I have been told that there's a lot of breakages on the teeth of these guys, but this one's perfect. The one bad part of the statue is really the base. Um, not a lot to the base. I mean, they have put what would, what probably would have or should have been on the base into the EX port, which we'll go into, but it's just the basic rock base. See, this has got like a woody texture. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a fallen branch or if it's just the 
the rock face, but it's all been painted the same. There's a few bits of green here and there. I'm just going to try and spin him. <laughs> the tail just touched the wall. Let's come a bit closer. If I can just get a spin on him, and we'll get the other side. So while he's like that, let's just get a bit of this base. It's a bit muddy, it's a bit flat. It's a bit nothing. It looks better on camera because the camera is actually picking out the colours. Like all this into the naked eye just looks like a flat grey or a flat brown. Um, and the greens and that are popping on camera but they're not really noticeable. It's the worst part of the statue. It really is. I think it's one of those, it's that time, because this went up for order in about 2015. And it's at the time where Sideshow were a bit hit and miss on paint. Like I say, the body's done rather brilliantly, in my opinion. Let's get this side of the face. Really, really nice sculpt. You know, plenty of textures, plenty of stuff going on. And even the base, like I say, it's all there. It's just the paints haven't been executed as well as they could have been. I mean, it's no big deal. Um, you know, it doesn't detract overall from the from the piece overall, that, but you know. Um, it's you know it hasn't disappointed me you know I am thrilled to pieces with this piece but what it does worry about me well what make it makes me worry about is that a lot of the old dinosaur pieces now are quite expensive and if you I mean I'm totally happy they're 350 pound these days for this is a 30 inch long statue like I say so it's a huge piece it's got great presence and 350 pound isn't you know, a lot of money these days. Um, but when you're going up to five, six hundred for some of the older, smaller pieces, then you know you want the paints to be as good as they can. And from what I can see, the old maquettes look better than the newer ones. The newer ones have got more, obviously, because as the statues have come out and more changes have been made, so patterns and feathers and you know and colours. You know, dinosaurs are apparently a lot more colourful and had better more patterns to them than we, everyone originally thought so they kind of incorporated that into the repaints and they're more colourful and more patterns on them but I don't know if the paints are executed as well sadly but yeah the overall like I say the, old, the overall Rex is great and it's like I say up high on display he looks brilliant I'm so chuffed with him you know um, for the first piece of the, the line and the first piece of many dinosaur pieces I think it's a great way to start and um, like I say this exclusive piece which is a big old chunk for an exclusive piece it's a it's a you know the old exclusives just had um, a dinosaur skull on a stand so you'd literally get the same scale skull scale skull scale skull scale skull of the dinosaur on a little um, wooden stand and it'd say Tyrannosaurus Rex on it or whatever but um, with this guy, they went full on half dead dino. I've got no idea what the dinosaur is. Obviously, some um, build, you know, like a Edmontosaurus, maybe. Um, um, on the website, it just says half eaten dinosaur. The gore's pretty well done. The one thing I don't like about this is that peg, no magnet, no pen, just drops in. Again, the base on here is not too bad, there's a bit more colour to it, but it all just looks a bit flat. It looks better on camera to be honest, it really does. And then, as you can see on the bottom here, we've got no edition size on the bottom of here. Incidentally, there's a thousand exclusives of this. 
I've got number 110. Um, retail was 380 bucks or 390 um, bucks, um, which is, you know, I'm sure if Sacho made this nowadays, it would be a lot more. So there's the the dead dino, which is actually picked out really nicely, and because they've done like this. Um, reflective shiny effect on it. it's a slimy look in places obviously where it's been eaten it's come out really nice all the gore in there as well so yeah so basically you can put this anywhere you want display with the racks um ideally huh, let's have a movie a shifty you know you want it there just below just at the end of the statue below the mouth so it literally looks like he's just been eating his and then obviously if you don't want it like that it's probably actually better to be displayed like that it's a good little chunky piece that is actually And it looks great. It really does. I, I, you know, I don't think the, I don't think the statue on its own needs the piece, but I think it's a better statue with it. So for me, it makes it exclusive a bit one one of those. I hate to say it's exclusive or fail, <laughs> but you know, it's very nice. I'm really really chuffed with it. Um, like I say, first piece of many. A few more in order. I'm really excited to get these damn toy pieces in because they look a bit damn toys um, make some rather good quality stuff and you know I'm excited to get a bust in for see what it's, uh, what it um, adds up to and um, kind of what the scale is the T Rex bust I'm hoping the head is about as big as this I think these are about one fifteen scale I know the Prime One Jurassic Park pieces they're doing a one fifteen. And I think their T Rex is about 30 inches, so I think that's about right. Um, excited to see, like I say, what the damn toy scales are like. I think 115 is about the right size. I'll try. It seems to be the most common size um, for statues, for high high end statues. So I'll probably stick with that. Iron Studios Jurassic Park stuff's 110, which makes it huge and expensive. Um, I don't want to go too crazy. And I did say in the video, I don't really want to do the movie thing. You know, obviously there's a lot of dinosaurs in Jurassic Park, but I don't want to do the movie thing. I want to try and do dinosaurs as dinosaurs. And the only reason, really, I've gone for the Jurassic Park um, Prime 1 Triceratops is because it's a fucking good-looking Triceratops. And, you know, it looks a, I think it looks nicer than the Sideshow one. Um, the pose is better on it. The head's down on the Sideshow one. It looks a bit... Bleh. You know, I'd still like to pick up the Sideshow one, it's the sort of thing that'll keep my eye out. But um, the Prime One one looks great. Um, hopefully it'll scale well, like I say, with this. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. It's my first dinosaur piece. I'm um, very happy with him. Like I say, you've got to have the right display for dinosaurs because of the length over the height. But um, we'll see how we get on. Oh, just on a side note, I've actually got, um, I'm sure I've mentioned this in plenty of videos, I've got the Prime 1 Gav Zero coming. Now, if you don't know, uh, if you haven't seen that statue, just type in Prime 1 Gav Zero, and you'll see on the base of that, it's got a huge T-Rex head. And I, that's a one-quarter scale statue, so I think it's a quarter scale T-Rex head, and I've seen videos of it recently, it looks gigantic. So that's going to be Guy with a T-Rex head on, it's like my two favourite things put together. So it's going to be nice to have that. And hopefully, you know, give you give give you guys a bit of a comparison against this and the damn toy bust. We're gonna to have a lot of T Rexes. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be fun. And uh, like I say, it's nice to have something that isn't guy standing on rocks or you know, guy standing on other guy who's dead. You know, T Rex over another dead dinosaur <laughs> instead. Same thing, but you know a giant lizard instead of a man. You know, but yeah, it just keeps the hobby interesting and keeps you going. It's, yeah, I've been really, 
really, as I mentioned in the last um, video, really absorbing a lot of dinosaur stuff. And um, this is just um, come at the right time, and you know the piece was available and had the money, so I thought, why not? I'm very, very happy with him. Um, hopefully, you know, I'm hoping to do another collection update video next March. Um, I think I did it March this year, so by March, hopefully, we'll have a few dinos then, a few, a couple of guivers, hopefully, a few other pieces, and I can show you where the collection's heading and how much it's changed since. Um, last year's collection video but that's about it guys it's a big t-rex eating another dinosaur what more do you want paint on the base yeah paint on the dino yeah so there you go that's my review <laughs> um next review i don't know maybe another hey let's talk about i do want to do the reborn dinos um next pre-order coming in could be fizz figure Solaire. bit of dark souls again which has been a while um, and it could be um, Guyver 1, which is the begging. That is the biggie. If that gets here for December, it's going to be the best Christmas ever, guys. Um, yeah, so um, we'll see you next video, guys. And thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm actually 10 subs away from 500 subs. It'd be nice to get 500 before the end of the year. Um, for anybody who's still out there and still listening and still watching, thanks for watching. And thanks for listening, which, you know... I don't think I'd listen to me for 21 minutes. I've had to do it now. It's not great, is it? But there you go. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks. Bye.